Hello and welcome to our Apogee and Drupal presentation today. I'm John Tran from ImageX and I'll be presenting. First, we'll be talking a little bit about ImageX real quickly and then we'll jump right into some background on Apogee. We'll talk about Apogee's developer portal options. And finally, we will talk about Apogee and Drupal integration as well as showing you a quick demo of what's possible. First, a little bit about ImageX. We are a global agency, been around since 2001. We're top rated on Clutch with people uh, scattered all over the world. And we've been producing over 500 plus websites, many of which were on Drupal for some of the top brands in the world. And I'm John Tran, the CTO, and I'll be presenting for you today. First, let's talk about what exactly is our Apogee. And firstly, what is an API? So API stands for Application Programming Interface. It's essentially a software interface that lets different computer systems talk to each other and helps developers securely and easily communicate with various systems in order to construct applications. So if you think about your typical restaurant review and ordering app, there might be a one API or data source for location information, another one for the menu, and yet another one for making reservations. So APIs allow developers to stitch those disparate systems and data together into a coherent application. And what is Apogee itself? Well, it's a Google technology acquired several years ago, and it's essentially a API gateway. So if you think about an application talking to four, five, six dozens of different data sources, it can be uh, a little bit unwieldy and all those systems might have disparate protocols and technologies and communicate in a plethora of ways. So Apache allows you to stitch those together and aggregate them into a coherent and standardized format. It wraps uh, connectivity in the form of hybrid and multi-cloud. It allows for automation of documentation and a standard user interface from a data perspective. It also adds in machine learning and analytical insights and wraps it all in, sec in a secure and scalable system for you. Okay, next let's talk about Apogee's developer portals. So you've built your first Apogee API and what's next? Well, the major consumer of your API will most likely be developers and they will need to learn about your data services and API offerings. They'll need to interact with the system, consume the APIs, build test applications, go through tutorial and training material, and um, essentially consume the, the product. They'll also need to transact with you in order to register to as users, though you may need to pay for your services and um, other things like that. So luckily with Apogee, there are several options as far as developer portals are concerned. They range from a fully integrated out of the box solution through to fully custom. The first one is Apogee integrated portal. So that's available out of the box with your Apogee account. And as you build out the APIs, it's essentially auto generated uh, portal for you. Uh, they also have two Drupal solutions, Drupal 7, which actually has just been deprecated with the sunsetting of Drupal 7 upon us, and a Drupal 8 solution, which is fully supported. They also have a D9 alternative that's coming out soon as well. And of course, being an API gateway, they have their own gateway so that you can build your own custom API driven customer portal from scratch. So obviously today we're gonna to focus a bit on Drupal, but how do we come to the answer of what is the best alternative for us from a developer portal perspective? Well, if your API is a private cloud solution where security and access are paramount, then Drupal is probably your best alternative. The Apogee 
integrated portal is publicly available, although it can be locked down from a security perspective. Um, it is not available in a private cloud scenario. If you're looking to monetize the solution, Drupal is also the best alternative, and we'll talk more about that later. And if you are looking for the fastest time to market, the minimum effort required, then perhaps the Apogee Portal integrated solution is the best option for you because it is essentially available um, on the fly as you're building the application and can be launched um, immediately upon the availability of the API. But if you have any type of customized functionality in mind, um, in addition to the ones that we've talked about, then uh, Drupal is also the better answer for you as well. And next, let's talk about Apogee and Drupal itself. So now there's a lot of advantages for using Drupal with Apogee that we've mentioned already. A lot of them are due to the fact that Drupal is just a great content management system in itself. So you get things like search configuration, blog and forums, custom content type integration, extensibility through the module system. But there are also key advantages specific to Apogee, monetization, analytics integration with the API platform, a rules-based event management system, custom registration, both for the application and for developer flows. And of course, Apogee support. So integrating with Apogee and Drupal, you have two possible flows. The first one is the Apogee Drupal portal kickstart. It's a full distribution that goes through your typical installation and configuration process. And the advantage of it is that you get a fully functional Apogee developer portal on Drupal 8 as soon as you run the configuration. So it starts off by installing Apogee Edge module, which is the core integration with Apogee Edge, the service from Apogee. And you configure that connectivity. And then you install the Apogee API catalog module, which allows you to integrate with your API catalog and generated documentation and imports all of that into Drupal. There is also an optional installation and customization of the monetization module at that point. And essentially you end up with a configurable landing page, a bunch of demonstration content, FAQ, blog and forum support, and of course the, the themed API documentation that was imported from the catalog module or via the catalog module. And at that point, all that's really left is for you to customize the site theme as you see fit and you are ready to deploy a fully operational Apogee developer portal built on D8. So the other alternative is to do a clean Drupal 8 install and then add the Apogee modules that you, you need in order to build up a custom solution. We typically prefer this approach because it gives us a cleaner slate and makes it easier for us to add additional custom functionality that is not provided by the edge modules and the configuration modules. So uh, the first thing you would install is the edge module from Apogee which um, gives you connectivity, configuration, and synchronization with the core Apogee Edge service. Um, it provides developer registration and team management functionality, allows you to extend it with custom attributes for the developer data, provides caching configuration functionality, it provides the event-driven reaction management model, and allows for translation of the content as well. 
Next, you would install the catalog module very similar to the way the attribute, the kickstart distribution does it. Um, here, you would do it manually and it will allow you to still install and import your API documentation. Um, you can customize it at that point. It gives you fine grain access control and it exposes the REST API interactions um, with live documentation. So you still get all the functionality, but you just get a little bit more control over the process. Finally, you also have the option of adding the monetization module. So it enables you to create developer portal, a developer portal with monetization in mind and essentially allows you to add your de developers to add credit functionality, enabling them to to use uh, your APIs on a per call basis and you can set parameters on how that monetization is consumed or those credits are consumed as they use the application over time and over increasing load. Okay, let's take a look at a real world system now. So this is Global Payments Developer Portal. We developed it for them recently on Apogee's um, tool set that we were just discussing. So I've gone ahead and registered an account here using the uh, registration integration system. And let's take a quick look around. You'll see there's a nice summary um, custom homepage showing the types of uh, APIs and solutions available from Global Payments. There is uh, generated documentation. Integration tools. This is custom content. And then there is the uh, API Explorer, which is the catalog exported information. So you'll notice various different platform samples and response samples. So they've also got internationalization here and they've got a cool custom feature which allows you to switch between the latest version of their API called GP API and the current and the legacy version which we're just looking at and the main difference is that with the the new gp api we're able to actually make calls to the api and get real responses so i hope you enjoyed our walkthrough of drupal and apogee integration particularly the developer portal and if you have any questions or want to discuss Apogee integration anymore, please feel free to reach out to me um, at the following contact information. Thanks for joining us.